On Tuesday, October 15th, the boys and girls cross country teams held their final home meet against the Wilmington Wildcats at Burlington High School. We knew it would be a tight meet. Um, Wilmington had Wakefield earlier in the season um, and had a very similar performance against Wakefield that we had. Um, about a mile into the race, we were down bad, uh, about 35 to 23 when I scored it at that point. Uh, two miles into the race, it was virtually even 27-28 when I scored it, and then we ended up winning 25-30. So we put on a big charge late in the meet. James Johnson ran the junior course record. It was Rashad Prakash's record. Uh, Patrick Gray broke the freshman course record, which was James Johnson's record. So we performed well. I'm happy. We're going to stay focused on all the little improvements that we have to make. I think working hard, knowing, having confidence that we can beat those runners that are just ahead of us in the final lap, in the final 100 meters, final 400 meters, having confidence to bust ahead and, and get ahead. I, I think that's something that we really lack is the confidence to pass girls or, you know, and the speed. We got to work on speed as well this week. One runner who has been making a name for himself this year is junior James Johnson. James was running great, you know, he was behind Rashab obviously for his freshman and sophomore year and that can both be good that you have someone to really work with and it can be bad in that you don't have the experience of leading races and winning races because obviously Rashab won virtually every race he was in. So James is, we've had four dual meets, five dual meets, he's finished first in four of them and second in one of them to Wakefield. Um, so he's running great. Uh, goals for him will be to try to win a state championship in November. I actually wanted to play basketball my freshman year and I was so good at cross country that Rashad and, and a couple of the kids on the team that were seniors told me to do track as, in the winter and it's a decision I'll never get. I mean, I love track now, it's my number one thing and I couldn't live without it. I mean, I couldn't imagine my life without track. I actually wanted to get the course record today. Obviously, junior record's huge. I'm a junior, so I still have next year. But, I mean, Rashad was a big mentor to me my freshman year and to just, I mean, when I was a freshman, he was a junior. He was running insane times. So for me to beat that record, to be as good as he was, that's insane. Back in September, Johnson was invited to two cross-country invitationals. Going into the 3,000 meter, I actually wanted a better time than that. I wasn't happy with my time there. Obviously, 10 4 is a good time. Frank Kelly was a really hot day, so I mean, pretty upset with my time, but after I looked at it and saw that, I only lost to one other kid that was in my uh, division, so I did pretty well. It gave me a lot of confidence going into the season. That's a really important course. Just, just to get used to that is really important. Although the Lady Devils cross-country team has no wins, they have defined this season as a rebuilding year. It's definitely been a tough season score-wise, but I believe this is our building season. Um, it's going to take a long road for us to finally get a win, but I believe it's going to have a big payoff next year. The boys and girls are going to give it their all as they head into their final meet against the Watertown Red Raiders. We're second to Wakefield. We'll end up second. We have a team that hasn't won any, so I don't really see them beating us. Um, so we'll end up 5-1 and one on the season, second place to Wakefield. 5-1 um, and one isn't a bad performance, but our goals are always winning, and we aren't winning the league this season. Final meet, I'll actually just probably be running my JV squad. Um, we can beat the team we're going against with our JV squad, so I'll be resting my varsity for the postseason. Um, it'll be a good chance for the younger kids to get some experience um, in a varsity situation. From Varsity Field, I'm Robert Paris for B News Sports.